this is the elemental environment. Now, I want to delete this. Now, once you come down to any of the picture, I will explain all this as we go on. All these stuffs we have here, they are very important. You get? Yes, sir. Now, I want to delete this. Just click on. This is to add a, add a section. This is to edit a section. Why this is to delete section? Now, okay. I want to delete this particular section. Just click on your delete. It's out. Now, if I click on updates, look at this part. If I click on updates and I go down to my size to refresh, let's take note of what happens. That particular part is out. Yes, sir. Now, let's go back. I want to delete this part. So I'll click on this, delete. I want to delete all this. I'll click on this, delete. I want to delete this part. So I'll click on it, delete. Now we have an empty website. I can't delete this footer here because this footer is on a different page entirely. So you can't delete okay. your footer from here. Okay. Do, do you get? Yes, sir. Now let me refresh my page and see what we have on this home page. Now on the home page, we just have something like this. Now let me delete the footer. We don't need the footer for now. So how will I delete this particular footer? I'll come down to my um, customize. Hmm. Let me see if they have it on the other part. Just click on this part or you come down to your uh, footer, footer builder. Hmm? Yes, sir. Now you can delete. Um, let's delete all this. The weed cats. Let's delete everything on the page. The copyrights. Let's delete the copyrights. Now publish. I think our site is empty, right? Are you still hear me? Yes, sir. Now let me uh, our elemental and see what we have. Now our elemental is empty. Mm, yes, it's empty now. I hope you're not down to this point. Yes, I do. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Nancy. Good evening, sir. Good evening, everyone. You are just coming. Yes, I just want <laughs> to charge my phone now. Ah, this one we are having low battery. It is the, it's the situation of Nigeria. <laughs> Electricity is not is not cannot be trusted. Nancy, where did you join us from? Um, where you did publish. <laughs> Guys, you have to watch the video and come and explain to us tomorrow. All right, sir. <laughs> we are using your account, though. You, you, you. Yeah, I noticed. I was there. Do you see have Jeremiah's password? Jeremiah, 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 no. I Who thought you Jeremiah? said you the password. No, I did not copy the password. I think Jeremiah is Jeremiah 2020. 2021. Eh, it will, it will well, find out. What was that again? She is not sure, Jeremiah. Okay. Find out on the, oh, okay. the thing, the material. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes. I will watch the video and see it. Okay, so I want to start building my site from scratch. Um, I want to do okay, something sir. like this. Like this. Hmm? Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Hope you are there. Yes, sir. I'm there. I'm here. I want to create this section. This is called evil. It's called what? This is the evil of a site. Anywhere you see a banner like this, it is called your site evil. 
This one too, you. same thing here, yeah? your site evil. This is a button too. This is a site evil too. Okay. I will, this one is also, is very important in a site. Under this part too, they have it here. This is the first page okay, you will see once you come down to a website. Yeah. Now this thing will still stop very soon. So once it stop, I won't, I, 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 I won't share a link again. We have to see again tomorrow. But before I start, okay, let me quickly create something like this. Are we there? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. So I'm going to share the video with us. Now, to create something like that, you have to click on this add new section, this plus button. Add okay. new section. Are new we there? Section. Yes, sir. Now, let's make use of this first one. We have one column, we have two columns, we have three columns, we have um, four, we have two. One is small, one is big. So we have different columns and section, but let's go with a single column. I'll click on it. Hope you are following. Yes, sir. Now I want to edit this column. I want to edit it. I will click on this middle button. This edit section okay. button. Hmm? Yes, sir. Once you click on it, this once we appear. Now, if you don't click on it, this is what you will have. But once you click on it, this one will appear like this. Okay. Now, what we want now is a full width. We want it to cover both mm -hmm. ends of the website. Now, let me not use full width. Now, let me show you how box look like. I want to color. I want to give it a background color. I will come down to style. Look at background type here. Color. Once you can read and write, you will understand Elementor very well. Let me give it a black and this thing and update it. Let me refresh my page and see how it looks like here. It is not showing yet. I think we, we, we need to add something to it. Now let me just add um, something to it. Okay, don't worry, let's, let, let's go on because of our time. Now, to edit this column, you have to click at the middle part, then come down to the first one. I want to make it a full width, right? Yes, sir. Then I want to stretch it to go between border. Or let's remove the, let's use box and let's just stretch it, stretch between. So stretch it so it can go between the distance. Um, which color should we use? Jeremiah, give us color. Okay, let's go with uh, with black is okay, right? Can okay, we... if you say so. Now let's let let's go with black color. Now this stuff is not high enough. I want it to be very wide. I'll come down to my advance. Are you getting okay. it? Now yes, under sir. advance we have padding. Padding. Okay. Just unlock this one. This one that is showing yeah. gray and um, color. Click on it to unlock it. You can see it's different. The color is, is now different from this and this. Are you seeing it? Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. top padding, let's use um 200. The bottom, let's use 200. I think that is very big now. That's 2000. Okay. Uh, I've changed it. Okay, I've seen it now. Now, let's update and refresh our page and see how it looks like. I hope it's not going to cover the other things that is there. I okay. seen it. I can see it. Yes. Is it clear now? Yes, it is. Now let's assume I did like stretch it. What do you say? It's looking like PowerPoint. PowerPoint. <laughs> yes. Now let's assume. <laughs> let's assume I didn't stretch this part. Let me remove the stretching. Now let's update. Let me show you how it will look like if you didn't. If you. It, Fail to activate the stretching part. Ah, it's not active here. On some system, you'll be seeing both sides of your, you'll be seeing these white um, pages at the both side. Okay. You guess, but well, it's not active here. Now, this is where your contents will appear inside this box here that have plus button. Okay, sir. Now, the stuff is very wide. Le under the width here, let me, are you seeing that the stuff is moving? 
Yes, sir. The dot dot is moving. Do you get it? Yes, I get it now. Are you sure? Yes. Let's make it um, okay. I think this size is okay. Now I want to duplicate this thing here. This um uh, this column, this um column. I want to make it two columns. Duplicate. Now we have one column, we have two columns. Are we there? Yes, sir. Do we see it? Yes, I see. Now I want to add test. This test that we have here, I want to add this test here. Let me copy their test so that I can add their test. Now, if you are adding test, we have what we um there is this thing to add your test. Just click on this button here. It will bring out your option. We have editing and we have test editor. The editing is a big test. We have our editing. Now let me paste the what I've copied inside here. Are we saying it? Yes, sir. Do we understand it? Yes. Or should I restart? I want to add test to this part. I will click and drag it inside. I'll leave it. Oh, okay. It my test that I've copied. Now, I want to change the test color to white. I'll come down to my style. Click on test color, white. Oh, okay. Are we getting it? Yes, sir. Yeah, now let me refresh my page and see. Is it making sense? Yes, sir, it is. Okay. Yes. Now the next um, test on that this thing, we have this. Now we we can't use test header here because this one is not very big. Do we get it? Uh, what yes, we sir. need now, just click here back. What we need is a um, test editor. Uh, Okay. Now you um, click and drag it under it, okay. under this part. This color must show before you leave it. Do you understand it? Yes, sir. Now let me paste what I've copied. Now, which color can we use with a um, black background? To give your color, you come down to style. Okay. Maya, which color should we use? Should we yeah, see think... white? Let us still go with white. Now let's update. You can under this part, you can centralize your test. You can make it to the right. You can um, justify it under this part. If you want to increase your test size, you come down to typography. Okay. If you want to change the test, the test family, the test font, you can come down here and change the font here. Okay. Are we there? Yes, sir. We have different fonts. We have Taoma. Can see that the font change. We have so many yes. fonts here. We have um, Avila. So to increase the size, this is where you will increase your font size. Hope you are seeing my screen. Yes. Um, I think this size is okay. Now the 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 weight of your test, you can increase the weight here. You can make it bold, very thick. You can make it normal. Let's go with the normal. Then update. Hope you understand this part. Yes, sir. Now, the next thing to add is our button. You click here back, and this is the button. Click and drag it inside. Are we there? Yes, sir. Now, what do we have on the button? We have um, start a company. Start a company, yes. Now, click on the button. This once we appear here. The test, which test do you want on the button? Start, start a company. A company. Now it's showing in capital letter all through. I don't want it to be in capital letter all through. You will have to edit it. Come down to start um, style. Under your typography. Typography is where you change your font size, um, your font style, and all that. Uh, upper case uh, simply means capital letter uh, auto, lower case simply means um, lower case auto, capital light. Yeah. This is what we want. Are we there? Oh, okay. Mm? Yes, sir. Now, yes, at sir. the front of it, there's an icon at the front, this icon. Yes. Now, let's add that icon to what we have. Under here, you see icon here? Click upload icon. 
upload icon here yeah. enable okay i think we should just get from since we don't have any icon just click on the last one icon library are we following yes sir icon library let's type arrow let's go with this okay so to add the button this is my button i'll click and drag it in don't forget that click and drag in are we there yes sir yes sir so this is your test yes, which tells you um what test you want to use uh, let's say start a company Currently, we have all um, the tests are in capital letters. So to change that, you come down to your style. To increase your font size, to change your font width, your font color, you go down to style. Now you come down to typography. To change your fonts, we have family. Family stands for your font style. Then we have the size, the size of your font. Then we have the weight. How is it bold? Is it normal? How do you want the thickness of your test to be? Then we have transform. Transform deals with your um, case. We have lower case, we have um, sentence case and all that. So let's go with the normal case, which is um, um, start a company. This, I, are you seeing my screen? Yes, sir. Then this time we have italic, we want your text to be slant, normal and all that. So we have decoration. Decoration simply means underline, overlay, line to. If you are used to Microsoft Word, if you choose underline, your text will be underlined. So if you are used to my yeah. password, you should know what all this stands for. So I want to work on my button color. What will I do? I will come down to look at the button now, the test color of your button. Um, we have the test color here. The test is black. It has changed, right? Yes, sir. Now we have the background type. We can choose the background color here and choose red if you want to. Now, this part here is to make your color somehow transparent. Look at this. This down this thing to make your color transparent. Are we seeing it? Oh, yes, sir. Hope you are getting it. Yes, yes. But I think white color will work better for the test. Do we get that? Yes, sir. Now, I can add over color to it. Over simply means once I come down to my button, my button to change automatically. The over effect. Okay. Now, you come down to your over. You click on it. Your test color. I want my test to change once I come on top of my button. Now, if I come on top, my test color will change. Are we seeing the changes? Yes, sir. I also want my background color to change once I come on my test. Now, which color will I use? I'm not that good with color. Are we seeing the stuff here? Yes. Now, the radius, I thought us radius yesterday, how sharp the edge of your um, um, button is. This one is very cool. Now, I have, you have to click on this one to deactivate or activate it back and let's use a different radius. Are we seeing the curve? We're having a curve edge yes. now, but it's not that big. On other part, I'm going to show you the, the function of this box and this padding, but let's move on. We are going to learn that later. So let's publish and see how the page looks like. Hope you are following. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, Tokwe is at home. Ah, I'm at home. And he's eating. You say are we, what? Are we seeing it? Yes, yes, seeing sir. It? yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, what if I want this, my test to slide in? That once people come to my site, I want this test to just slide in. Now let's add that effect to it. It's called animation. Now I will click here, click on the, to so edit this test, either you click inside or you click on this uh, pencil, um, um, this thing icon. Once you come on top, the pencil icon will show. So let's go down to, you, you go to advanced. Now scroll down to where you see um, motion effects. Are we following? 
Yes, sir. Now we yes, have different sir. motion effects. We have a um, fade down. We have a um, fade left. We have bounce. We have different. But don't use a um, motion effects that would drive away your client. <laughs> so we should be mindful of the kind of effects we use on our website. Some people would, would just want to use different different effects on website because. This one is take cool. Just use a cool effect. You get. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't use something like this. See, it's so annoying. <laughs> Please. Yes, yes, yes. So just as much as possible, just use something, something easy. And if you have okay. fade, fading left, don't do fading right because right is too far. You get. Yes. Right is too far. Yes. You can use right from this other um, um this thing here. So you can just do fading yeah. le um, fading left. Then this other one, if you want to apply effect to this other one, you don't have to use fading left again for this down one because they'll be coming from left all together. You can do fade up from this part. Motion effects. Let's try um fading. Are you seeing the effects? Yes. Then this button now, I can just add a shake effect to it for the button. Advanced motion effects. Let's do um add shake on it. Or you can apply flash. I seen it. Or okay. shake. Or add shake. Just simple stops like this. Hope you are guessing the old nonsense. Yes, sir. Remember, I have not had my picture to this side. There is a picture here. I have not had any picture yet. Are we getting it? Mm -hmm. Now, in yes, adding picture, it is either you use a background image or you use your normal picture. Now, what if I want to use a background image? Or let me just go with the picture format first. Now, if I want to add my picture, what will I do? I'll come down to this part again. Look at what we have here. What is what am I clicking on? Image. So you click and drag it into this box here. Now you come oh, down okay. to this part. What is here? Are you seeing my screen? Choose image. Now you click on choose yes, image. Now let's upload the file. Let's look for files to upload. You come down to upload files. You can come down to free image to select your kind of image. But the picture I'm okay. going to upload now, I designed the picture myself. So if you are a web designer, you can also pay somebody to come up with a graphics for you. If um, you don't have to be a jack of all trade if you are a web designer. You can just tell somebody to come up with a nice graphics for your client. We get? So you don't have to say, ah, I need to do all the work myself and make all the money. You can do all the work yourself, fine. I'm waiting for it to upload. Now, once it uploads, just click on insert image. Now, this is a picture. Now, you can either make it on that style. You can either make it increase the size here or reduce any one of your choice. Are we guessing it? Yes, sir. The opacity means the transparency of your under opacity. But let's make it 100%. Sir. Now let's update and see what we have. You can also change your, if you, there's a way you can change this um, picture color by coming down to CSM filter, but I hardly use this. It is when I don't have, um, you can change your view and saturation. You can see that the picture is changing automatically. Because yes. Are we guessing it? Yes, yes. Yes. The color is changing. Now I've turned it to gray, black and white, but it's not looking good. Let's just go back to our default color. Now we update it and see what we have here. Is it making sense now? Yes, it is. Hope we are getting it. 
<laughs> now, in, in building of websites, there is what we refer to as mobile view. How your sites will appear on system is different, is 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 a is far far different from how it will appear on, on, on phone. Are we getting it? Yes, sir. Now yes, let's sir. look at the mobile view of what we have done so far. If it is great on mobile, look at this place here, responsive mode. Are we seeing it? Yes, sir. Now click on, if I click on it, it will bring out these options at the top. Now this one is for tablets. This one is what people use most is um um, um desk, uh, laptop or desktop and phone. I'm not for use this tablet in this class. For oh, yeah. Okay. Now you click on mobile view and see how it looks like on mobile. Now, to me, on mobile is not looking great on mobile. This space here is too much on mobile. This black space yes. up is too much. Are we there? Yes, now, yes sir. And come down here and click on this top so as to edit it. I'll come down to advance and reduce the padding. The padding here is 200. I can make it um, half of it, 100. Sorry, is giving padding to all for everything. Now I can make it 100. Is this space still okay? No, it is still large it's, a little. It's still too much. Is it okay now? Yeah, I think it's better now. Now, for mm -hmm. I can my test, I can centralize my test since it's mobile. I'll click on this icon here, this pencil icon, and come down to uh, my content and centralize it. Now, for this one, so I can also centralize this. If you feel that this test is too big on mobile, you can reduce the test. I can to centralize this. I'll click on this, go to style, and centralize. Now, I'm feeling that this one is too small. To reduce the size, I'll come down to type typography. The size is size 20. Let's use size 16. I think it's far better now. Now, this button, yes, so yes. You click on this are you? What do you say? You the center. Now, you click on the pencil icon and go down to content and centralize your button. I feel that this button is somehow far from this test. Yes, sir. Are we getting it? it? Is. Now, I'll come down to advanced yes, sir. and deactivate this part. This is now where your margin comes in. Before, we have been using padding. Okay. Since. Take note, we have been using padding. Now, this is where your margin comes in. Margin, I want to take it margin. to the top. Okay. You can see. Oh, okay. If you want to bring it down to, are you guessing it? If you want to take it to the right yes, or to the left. Okay. Now, our um, Zoom stock will still go out, so we have to we log in and all that. Hope you understand it. Yes, sir. Now, on yes, sir. phone, it's too close to the um, both um, side of the screen. I can actually work on that by coming down to this part here. On this top, I'll come down to my padding. Let's use 10. You can see now that there's space at the right. Let's use 10 again. Yeah. They should, they are, we have uh, more space around this side now, right? Yes, sir. Now, yes. Uh, this space here, we need more black space at the bottom. Are we there? Yes, sir. There's no black space yes, at the bottom at all. We need a space, something like this. At the, we have space at the top. We should also have a little space at the down to give it to give the image um, a breathing space. Now at the bottom it's change zero here. Yeah? Let's use um let's use 40. Are we seeing a space now? Oh yes, sir. Are we getting yes, it? You can also increase to 60 yes. if you want. Ah, I use 460. You can also increase to 60 if you want. So you just have to play around. Your left and your but right. Sir, why are we doing this? Eh? Why are we actually why are we actually making space beyond that the image? So that's in case you want to put your next test under it, it won't be close to the image. Okay, okay. There should at least be a breathing space. If I take this one, look look at now, look at this. If I put zero here, is it fine like this? No, it's not. So let me put no. this space now. Look at it now. There is a breathing space around the box and the test. We should not make the side so jam-packed that there is no breathing space at all. Do we understand that? 
clear, sir. Now, yes. I, I feel now that this image is very close to the test, to this uh, button. How will I bring it down? I'll just click on either this part and come down to advance and go to my margin. I'll use the margin part now to bring it down a bit. Are we seeing it? Yes, sir. Yes. Now we update. Now on mobile view, now if you check on your mobile view, it's far, far better on mobile view. And we have worked on the desktop view and also on the mobile view. So if you are working, to, if you are if you are doing a client test site, you should be you should also consider the desktop view and the mobile view of the site. Yes, sir. because most people check your site through phone. More than sixty percent of people check sites through phone. So, hope you understand that logic now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now let me refresh my <clears throat> screen and see. If you are not getting the talk, you pay for this class, so. What's that? Uh, I'm actually looking, um, a thought came to mind, you know, like, take for instance now, this kind of, this phone, uh, this system, like the website you are, you are working on presently, it's yes. for people outside Nigeria, and from what I've observed, the handful of persons still make use of tablets over there. Yes, so well, I think once you have worked on your mobile view and your desktop view, now look at the tablet view now. The tablet okay. is, is better. It's still okay, yes. You get no, once you have okay. worked on your mobile view and your desktop view, the desktop view will um take um care of itself in most cases. You understand? Okay. Yes, sir. But what's me I focus more on is just my desktop view and my mobile view. My view, okay. Mm. But you can also work on the um, distance too, on your, um, what is it called? Your um, tablet view. I don't know why the site is showing this way. Network. Are we saying the site yeah. is okay now? Yes, uh, I see this website. Now, I am feeling that this black space is a little bit smush at this down here. Okay. Mm, yes. Abby, now yes, let, sir, me, sir. let me reduce the black space and let's let's put it at 150. I think 150 is better. Or you can also reduce to 100 if you want to. Now let's use 100. Okay. Now, what next do we have on this part? We have this on this part here. Mm. Is our size making sense now? Yes, it is. Now, let's do something like this. Now, I want to add a new section. I'll come down here and click on add new section. I'm still using my single section, right? Yes. Now, once I add my section, the first thing I will do is to do the padding. I'll click here, come down to advance, deactivate this part. My padding, let's use 60, the top and bottom 60. Are we there? Yes, yes. sir. Now, my test will appear somewhere here. Now, let's put the background color. I'll come down to my style. Which color should we use? Talk where? Now, mm. you, you guys have to be mindful of color riot. You know, we love <laughs> doing color riot in this country. I, I think, think blue is okay. Uh, yes, blue is okay. Okay. blue is okay. Because I choose blue. You guys have to say blue is okay. No, blue is reality I now. Blue. I was about saying blue. About saying I, I, blue. Actually, oh, I'm doing in this life is red and blue. Congratulations. <laughs> My dear. <laughs> I mean, we are the, we are the ladies. Of the, uh, ladies no color better than guys now. Ladies no colors better. Ladies no so, colors. My name is Sabi Copper's blue. <laughs> All is well. Yes, sir. And the next thing to add is um our um, text. Now the 
Now you have to be mindful of something. You have to make use of different. You have to make use of all. All your fonts must be the same fonts. Now let's look at the fonts we use here. Um, I think let's let's use the. I install this font myself. Is, do we have it? Or let's use a um, um, pop something. This pop you know, um, pop pins. This pop pins. Let's use a um, pop pins. Uh, I'm not having that person no. Now I want to copy this test. This all in one. This thing. Okay, sir. My, now it means I will reduce this, right? I'll come down to style, typography, and reduce the size. I will also centralize it. Are we there? Yes, sir. White will not work. Or do, if we put white color, is it working? Yeah, it seems to be working. Okay. Yes, white still works here. Yeah. Now, let's get this one done. How are we going to do this? Now, this is what you will do. Let's type list. I'm coming, let me check if this one will work. Okay, this one works. List, are we there? Yes, sir. Now, I will delete this one and this one. I need only this type. Now, I want it to be in a cycle format here. Are we seeing it? Now, it's yes, sir. I'll change the icon. Let me go and change the icon. From here, you change the icon here. I'll change it to this. Do we get that? Yes, sir. Now let's use let's let let, let, let me show you how to change the icon and um, color. You come down to style, um, icon, click on icon, the icon color. You can change the icon color. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Control C. 